Hello, everybody. Hi, this is Brenda Miller from Stampin' with Brenda. And I am going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we are almost at that time, but not quite yet. So I am just going to continue to try to get set up here. Not really sure. There we go. And hopefully I'll be able to see your comments. Let's see. Get to be able to see the comments. I apologize. Try to get ready here. All right, if you're joining me yet, please say hello so I can see if my comments are coming through. Hello, Kathy Davis. Thank you for joining. All right, look at that, 7 p.m. on the dot. I'm getting a little echo again. I don't know why. Still trying to work out the kinks here. And my friend Jules is here to say hello. I'm just going to give it another minute. I don't want to make people wait, and I did come on early. So, anyone else out there? I think I'd be able to see, but I don't know how. <laughs> Look at there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So again, my name is Brenda Miller, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Baskin Ridge, New Jersey. I've been a demonstrator for um, almost 25 years. Woo! Very excited about that. And I just wanted to go live today to tell you a couple of things. First is that today Stampin' Up! added a bunch of new things that you can get uh, as celebration items. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Um, and I did want to share some of those. And then I want to show you some tips and tricks about using the embossing folders because embossing folders are on that list. So I'm going to go ahead and show my desktop very carefully. And I'm switching over. And we have Jules is here to say hello. We have that. Okay, go ahead. We'll find something to do. Whoop. And now we're sideways. Go, pull that back, and then move me. Can you hear me now? Oh, now you can hear me. Oh, dear. I thought I had this worked out, but clearly not. Um, okay. So now you can hear me, right, guys? 
Carol and Kathy. All right. We'll chalk this up to the first time, right? <laughs> anyway, um, as I was saying, you can find this list on the Stampin' Up! website and at my store um, at grendermiller.stampinup.net. Um, let's see. Also, I wanted to share with some tips about these embossing folders. And I want to basically, most importantly, tell you the difference between a 3D embossing folder and a regular embossing folder. And I know that not everybody knows what the difference is. Now let me see. I think I can I think I see what I did wrong here. So I'm going to switch back. And I can see that's not going to work. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, so look over here. <laughs> Don't look at me over here. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about two of the different embossing folders. The first one I'm going to show you is the gingham embossing folder. And the first thing you'll note is that it's textured, but it's not terribly deep. So when I put that through an embossing folder, the paper looks like this. Okay, so there is some texture to it. Not terribly raised, but still lovely. Um, but when I use the 3D embossing folder, you'll notice that it's much deeper. And I know it's hard to see on the camera, but when I put that through an embossing folder, you can see the texture is much deeper. Okay. Now, when you use these different embossing folders, you need to use a different sandwich. And when we talk about sandwich, we're talking about whatever your cutting system is, and of course we use the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Normally, whoops, my plates are well used, but usually you have two acrylic plates, and then you have a platform, and then there's an additional panel for the, the platform, okay? Whenever you're embossing, you're gonna take that additional panel away. So regardless of which one you're using, that one goes away. So you're left with just your plate, okay? If you're using a regular embossing folder, you're going to go ahead, put your paper inside, close it up, and then you're going to use a regular sandwich, which is one acrylic plate, place the second acrylic plate, and then another acrylic, I'm sorry, then you put your embossing folder and then there's another acrylic plate and you put that through your machine and that's how that works but if you're using a 3d embossing folder like i did here you're going to put your paper inside you're going to use your platform then you'll use your embossing folder and then you're going to need to have a specialty plate and this plate is a little bit thicker than, oops, shift the camera there, than one of our acrylic plates. But it's not quite as thick as two acrylic plates. And that's why we have this. So this is a, it's a minimal purchase. I think it's um, about $11. I should have, oops, I have it right here. Let's look it up. It's not a big investment, but if you don't have one, you're going to want one. It's $10.50. Okay, so that is the specialty plate that you see here. And it's uh, it's item number one four I'm sorry one five four seven one one, and it's ten dollars and fifty cents. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that because if you were ordering an embossing folder, you need to make sure you have all the right pieces. Now the other um, acrylic plates and the additional plate. Whoops. Brain is doing something funky here. Give me a second. Um, the, this all comes with, with your machine when you purchase it. However, the specialty plate does not. And so that's what you would need to get. So that is what I'm going to term a quick class. And that is the other reason why I wanted to come online and talk to you. So let's just take a quick peek at some cards that I've made in class recently. 
that this one has the gingham embossing folder on the background. And this one has the, sea, the seashell one, okay? So that's the two different looks. But I am launching a class series called uh, Quick Classes. And the reason for that, let me just get rid of my desktop now so I can speak to you. There we go. Now you see my setup. Let's see, get out of that. Um, so the quick classes are going to be five to ten minutes long, and they're going to be on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is called, I'm trying to find out, I believe it's Brenda Miller SU. Um, and I will post that on my uh, Facebook page. And I'm also creating a new blog. And it will also be found there. But that blog is not quite ready yet. Um, and so look for news about that. But that is all I had for today. Does anybody have any questions or comments that they'd like to make? Hi, Dawn. I see you joined. Thank you. Are you guys getting an echo? Can you hear an echo when I'm talking? Or is it just me? Anybody? Let's see. This is going to be a work in progress, as you can see. I was trying to use StreamYard, which is the service that I use for today, uh, to go live in Facebook so that I could show you my desktop as well as see you and be able to wave. Okay, Emma says no echo. Thank you, Emma and Kathy. Appreciate that. That's good to know. Um, all right, well, that is all I have for today, but please feel free to put any comments in Facebook underneath this video and I will respond to them. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you at my quick classes in the future. Thank you.